Welcome back. Dr. Shimi, I was asking you about the youth issue as yes. it was tackled yesterday by President El Sisi during the interview. Youth issue generally is very, very important to any president, especially like after 2011 and the, the rule of youth to into revolution 2011-2013. Uh, you're revolving to the, uh, the, the, the importance of uh, this, this sector of the Egyptian generally. And when he talked yesterday about the, the rule of youth, he, he tried to make very, you know, just pushing for all Egyptians, ma the majority of Egyptian populations, how uh, you are in my mind, you are in, in my concerning for everything, uh, and you would existing in most of the plans for Egyptians. So, mm -hmm. Egyptian project and make a project, as uh, we mentioned uh, the last, uh, last minute. So, uh, he talks with different kind of visions. The, one of the one of these visions are related to the culture and the education uh, education file. Uh, he he tried to make like uh, uh, a very great concerning about the the rule of education development and the, the, this ruling this rule of uh, 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 a very critical file in Egyptian government. And uh, he talked about the altars and the, the uh, one of the the, the main crises for the Egyptian. Uh, youth and the Egyptian sporting generally uh, issues. So uh, yesterday he make a very a grateful uh, uh, intentions to uh, an invitation for altars to changes the 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 and the to be a model of shouldering responsibility. Yes, for all model Egyptians. for for the Egyptian youth and. Uh, uh, I think uh, it not very important. It's not really very important uh, issues to, to Egyptian citizens generally. But I think it's very important for you to understanding that they they get uh, one of the major uh, concerning for the Egyptian leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, but yesterday, when the interviewer tried to ask about the the, the opposition youth who was really in in jails and uh, the still over there, uh, Mr. President tried to answer by majority of them were could not be able to get out and f to get free so much, just uh, I'm still looking forward to the, the third vision, th mm -hmm. the third uh, scenes for uh, uh, the f uh, let them free in, in, in uh, recently. And it's, uh, I think it's a very, uh, it's very important answer from leadership about uh, uh, the rule of youth in the political life, not just for the social and cultural life. Too. Right, Dr. Tamim. Also, there were uh, there were talks about the role of the the 2016 Parliament, and uh, the President, uh, His Excellency, was very precise about describing uh, his relationship with the Egyptian Parliament, how he respects it, and he did not mind at all that the, one of the major roles, uh, the uh, laws that were uh, refused or rejected by the Parliament, which is the labor uh, law. Yes. Uh, he was asked directly if this bothered him. He said no on the contrary because this uh, he give he uh, respects uh, the uh, um, uh, i mean uh, the, the legislation of the parliament and the, they would have full right if you like to elaborate on the particular I'd like this to is one of the important add uh, what what you mentioned he, that he said that the the issues of the two islands Oh. will be discussed through the parliament. Exactly, and, and that's why I was asking that question, yes, because sure. I wanted you to... Uh, and the parliament is going to take a decision. Uh, he said, we did our homework, and now we're going mm -hmm. to see what they're going to say. If it's okay, it's okay. If it's not okay, we're going to take the decision. So it shows that he respects the institutional development uh, system that is, the, is, is existing now in Egypt. The so in case the parliament takes something that is other, that, that is, I mean, in opposite the to the intention of right. the presidency, what yeah. happens in that case? I mean, like in the case of the two islands, he, fo he showed full respect sure. to, the, to, to the decisions. I think so. Uh, he's going to abide to the rule. You see, the would rule it be a law. problem then in that case? No, I don't think so. What, mm. well, what's the problem? Because uh, we had uh, certainly there be committees which should be studying all this issue because it's something not easy. So in this case, certainly uh, this is the final decision. You see that all of us have to respect, which is uh, the uh, the parliament, mm. and which includes the president himself and the uh, executive. Uh, I like to say the executive committee, which is considered the ministers. You see, these these are the executives which execute the policies and procedures and all that. So in this case, we uh, 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 what he said, he's going to uh, since he said we're going to send this to the parliament. So he's going to respect the decision of the parliament without any interference from his part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, sir, we were speaking about the institutions. Right. To have our state as a state of an institution, I think it's a target. Because till the moment, I cannot say 100% uh, that we are. But President El Sisi said that all the institutions, all the entities are cooperating together 
uh, in a free way, topping the list the monitoring or controlling institutes for the sake of Egyptians and for the sake of right. Egypt. Okay. And that this is going to continue this way, and this is a main gate to success. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say when we are going to feel this on the ground, but should it uh, take uh, that much time to feel it? Or uh, this is a process which is really going on and it's normal not to feel it on the spot? I tell you, uh, certainly, uh, if you go back 60 years ago, uh, we didn't have a real democracy. It used to be the president, the, all the authorities were concentrated at the top man, which was the president. Now, mm -hmm. we are changing, and certainly change takes uh, uh, some time, you see, and we are not trained for these things. So probably uh, it's not a matter that the people are not, or the institutions are not cooperating. The matter is that they need some time to change their mindsets mm -hmm. and to start thinking in a different out way. Out of the box. Ra uh, uh, rather than they used to do in the past, they're saying, mm. uh, agreeing about everything, you mm. see, regardless if it's right or wrong, you know, because they don't want to upset the top man, you mm -hmm. see. I don't think this is going to take place in the future, you see, but it's going to take some time in order to change, because some people still stick to the old methodology that everything is all right, you see. Mm. They do not, for a reason to keep their position and not to upset the, their boss, you see. Mm. Mm. This is not uh, uh, exhibited only on the presidential level. Uh, in the governmental institutions, probably you'll find the subordinate, he's agreeing about everything, regardless if it's right or wrong, of his boss, you see, and in the public sector. So probably this methodology is going to change, but it's going to take some time because in order to change attitude, it's, it's not in a fortnight. You see, it takes a long time. Right. We have less than one minute. In a very briefly, what do you see that this interview lacked? I mean, um, the coverage, I mean, the questions. What would you wish that the interviewer would have asked the he president? Just, I think just, he, he was very, very shortly asking about the Egyptian foreign policy, about just mm -hmm. Egyptian, uh, Amer Egyptian American relationships, and about what is what's look forward the Egyptian American uh, uh, relationships. And I think. Uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah says yesterday tried to say something very fuzzy. I don't, I don't really understand what is what he's tried to mention about the uh, the, the changing of literature of Egyptian foreign policy toward the United States. So I'm I'm very concerned if there is a different kind of changes, and we are we are right now in very uh, uh, critical relationship with different intentions between Egypt and the United States uh, uh, in the last two years, and it's very vastly and for for all experts and for all really uh, following the Egyptian relationship with the United States. Yeah. However, yesterday he tried to, I think, mention what, what he tried to uh, uh, emphasize about that we are changing to win, win games according to uh, we have to, uh, you know, the dividing uh, interests between all other countries and the spring the uh, or relationship with different kind of countries like um, uh, uh, Arab countries and uh, most of Bawars in, in European countries or, or other regions. So mm. uh, yesterday it, it was not really uh, timing enough to discussing these very critical points according to the, uh, the existing of uh, uh, foreign policy and uh, the, the, the plans for uh, foreign policy toward you know fulfilling the uh, plans of the Egyptian uh, interesting uh, government uh, generally too. Mm. Yeah, so Dr. Mustafa Tannim, Dr. Mohammed Abdul Azim Al Shimi, our political analyst of today. Thank you very much for your input and have a very good day. Thank you. Have a good day too. Right after the short break, we are going to be back. Stay tuned only on Al TV International.